Good morning everyone from Montpellier, France. We have finally arrived in Montpellier after almost 24 hours of traveling. I feel like I'm, well, I want to make a completely separate video about what on earth has happened over the last 24 hours. Essentially, to explain it quickly, we missed our train in Milan, so we had to book on a later train which followed a different route. So we went from Milan to another place in France called, what was it called? Sure. Chambéry and then from Chambéry to Lyon and we got to Lyon at 10 p.m. last night and then we were going to potentially stay in the train station overnight for our train at 6 a.m. this morning but we thought it probably wasn't the best thing to do so we booked an Ibis hotel last night and then we got the train at 6 a.m. this morning turned up the train station with our interrail pass they said we couldn't go on the train because we needed a seat reservation and we couldn't actually book the seat reservation on the app so we were so stressed and know what to do. The ticket office didn't open until 8 a.m. So essentially we'd be stranded if we didn't get this particular train. So we just went on train line, spent £27 on the train from Lyon to Montpellier. Then we were, when we were on the train to Montpellier, we got like a notification on train line that the stop to Montpellier had actually been cancelled. So we were just thinking, well, how has this actually happened? Like, how can they cancel a train that we're already on? Um, so luckily in the end we got um, the train stopped on the outskirts of Montpellier so then we got a bus to a tram stop <laughs> then a tram to our hotel and <laughs> also what happened which was another thing that was cancelled is uh, we were meant to be doing a free walking tour this morning at 10 a.m we would have got here in time and then we got an email saying that was cancelled because they didn't have enough people. We were basically the only two people that had signed up. So basically everything over the last 24 hours has gone wrong. And uh, <laughs> we're very tired, <laughs> completely exhausted, but we are here in Montpellier. We are just now heading to get some breakfast. It's like 10, half 10. And uh, then we're gonna head back, sort of get dressed, <laughs> get sorted, and then head, head out properly to explore Montpellier. It looks a beautiful city, the sun is shining. So it's going to be a good day or so here in Montpellier before we head to Barcelona tomorrow. But this has been a very, very long introduction. But I feel like we need to explain what on earth has happened over the last 24 hours. But like I said, we're here in Montpellier now. So let's enjoy the city. Life is a winding. So we are now out and about exploring Montpellier. And it's such a beautiful day. The sun is shining and my friend Jess has given us lots of recommendations for things to do in Montpellier. So we are currently in a park. I can't remember the name, but I'll put it in the description, all the places that we go to whilst we're here in Montpellier. And look how beautiful it is. There's also, as you can see behind me just here, lots of different like food trucks. So I think we might grab some lunch there or maybe if we don't grab some lunch, definitely have a look around because it's really nice. So yeah, that's a little update. Uh, we're just gonna keep exploring and I will speak to you guys soon. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop Okay, so we've just had tallines and fries. We wanted to get uh, mussels, mousse, but they actually unfortunately ran out by the time we got to the front of the queue. So we had to have tallines, which were actually really delicious as well. I would say not as good as mussels, but I would say eight out of 10, what would you say? I'm going for a 10. 10? I really liked them. Oh yeah, my yeah, God. So In my opinion, they were I'm like- really They were a bit tedious to actually eat, but. It got like all over our hands, like really messy. Yeah, and I don't know, I could not. taste sand at times and they weren't really flavoursome apart from like the herbs and stuff they added. But I'd say eight out of 10 and it was seven euros for the tallines, four euros for the fries and I think two euros for the drinks. drinks. So actually overall, not too bad. We are now heading to explore more of Montpellier. Like I said earlier, my friend Jess has given loads of recommendations. So we're just gonna walk around the city and uh, yeah, explore. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic light Okay, so we've just finished up having a delicious hot chocolate. I would say my favourite I've ever had. Um, 
as people might see on my social media a lot, I go to this cafe called Mrs. Potts in Bristol and I've always said that that's my favourite hot chocolate, but I'd probably now say the one we just had is also now my favourite. Uh, but we're now heading back to our hotel as we've just been exploring for most of the day. Um, but yeah, we're going to head back now. It's probably about a 10 minute walk from here, so just going to sort of slowly walk back and admire Montpellier's beautiful city and uh, and the gorgeous sunshine. Okay, so we are now just off for dinner. It's around half past seven and we're heading to the place where we had breakfast this morning. It is a Sunday, so we're very much hoping it is open, <laughs> but I think we've got a plan B and plan C just in case. They do have Glovo here, which is basically um, France's form of Uber Eats uh, or Deliveroo. So yeah, we're gonna sort of hope for, hope for the best because we're both really hungry, but we're just heading up now, about two minutes away, so I'll update you all when I get there. Okay, so I totally forgot to end yesterday's vlog, so I'm gonna finish it now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, my first day in Montpellier. I'm currently filming on day two, and today we're actually heading to Barcelona, so I hope you look forward to this vlog, which is coming next. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to oh, smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.